Welcome back guys on my YouTube channel. Today is the birthday of the Ducati Multistrada because this is 20 years since the first Multistrada came out and this is the fourth generation bike, a bike that's defined to be a world globe trotter. To define if it's an adventure bike, a touring bike, it's a bit difficult. In my opinion, it's something separate. The Multistrada has uh, its own characteristics and it's really difficult to compare it to other bikes. Uh, to me, it's extremely fascinating because you have everything you want, you know, the Italian design style, full technology has the latest technology and so much power because here we have the V4 Gran Turismo engine that has 170 horsepower which can be reduced to 114 if you go off-road because you have the maps you have plenty of maps plenty of control all at the touch of a button because here starting from the suspension we have a button with a suspension icon where we can go and modify the setting and you have some settings already predefined if you're riding alone if you're riding alone with full luggage if you're riding with a passenger and full luggage so really interesting and it was really interesting to see how the bike changes a lot from one setting to the other we have different riding modes we have touring sport urban enduro we tested the bike today both off-road and on-road so when i speak about off-road i'm not telling you that with this bike you can go and do a rally or you can go and do enduro it's always relative this is a 240 kilogram bike this is the dry weight it has 235 millimeter of ground clearance the suspensions have 200 millimeters of travel on front and rear and we have on the front uh, brembo stylema brakes with twin discs uh, 330 millimeter discs so strong braking efficiency but yeah if you do gravel roads it can do it and it's nice to ride you always have to think this is a bike where you want to enjoy the riding you're not gonna be riding it like you're in a special stage but i must say that when you're on the road and you put it in the sport mode this bike is a beast you can really attack every curve and it's so so much fun but before i go on to which were my feelings i need to tell you some other technical specifications we have 30 liters of fuel so very very wide autonomy the bike has a starting price in italy of 27,490 euros this is uh, the standard model we are testing today the full pack the full optional which is a bit over 30,000 euros because we have the luggage we have the crash bars and uh, we have the you know the full setup which is really interesting because usually during these tests we test you know just the dry bike but most customers most riders then end up setting their bike in this way that's also a reason why they made us test today a passenger so we did some sections on the road not off-road with a passenger to really understand what's the feeling and how it performs looking at the bike and some other interesting details that i won't go through every single feature but some that are worth saying is for example the brake pedal because you have two positions by just pulling it out you have let's say a road and off-road position and it just turns around then we have also the central stand which is really useful when you do maintenance ducati declares this is a bike where the maintenance is really minimum in fact the oil change should be every 15,000 kilometers or every two years so quite a big interval we also have here some air ducts that can be closed or open this depends if you're in winter you want to close them if you're in summer and you want a bit more breeze on your legs you can open them on top we have a, a little toolbox where we can put our phone and charge it it's also air cooled this means that during summer we won't have to worry about our phone you know going into flames because it's air cooled but that can be also useful 
to put your money and uh, other things because uh, yeah generally today I found myself putting my phone in my pocket but keeping like the keys and other things in that small toolbox we have here the rear luggage and this I think was really well designed because I'm always worried when I put luggages on bikes because they make the bike super wide and especially if you're going off-road you're going near trees but thanks to this design is the, the bike doesn't become too wide and you almost forget having them so it was really good feeling it was interesting to ride off-road uh, with the rear luggage we have uh, obviously here the crash bars and also some auxiliary lights then from the display we can enter all the different modes all the different ecu maps this bike sometimes is almost too comfortable i'd say you'll get a lot of fines if you buy a multistrada the reason for which is already in second gear you open the throttle and you don't realize and you're 140 kilometers an hour already so the bike is super super stable at high speeds where you really don't don't feel you're going that fast so it's pretty cool but <laughs> can be dangerous for your pockets and for getting fines but with no further ado i'll let you know which are my feelings especially off-road because i know you're interested in knowing how it performs off-road so now I'll let you know uh what i th think of this bike After the test of today, I can tell you this is an extremely fascinating bike. First of all, I'm a big fan of technology and I believe that there aren't many bikes that are equipped with such high-end technology like the Ducati Multistrada V4 Rally, especially because you can go and modify the settings so much and you really feel it on the road when I switched from urban to sport the bike completely changed because the settings doesn't only work on the throttle response and on the power delivery but also on the suspension so when I went from urban to sport I found a bike that was performing much better especially entering the turns at high speeds the bike would be extremely precise especially on the front end and when we go into the turns you almost feel like a MotoGP rider even though this is not a MotoGP bike so it was extremely fun but the most interesting part was the off-road you have to put it in context as I said you're not gonna go into a special stage or gonna do you know a rally in the desert but for normal off-road so gravel roads and when you're traveling so you want to enjoy you know the scenery the bike is relatively easy even though the weight is pretty high the bike off-road can really keep its line but another interesting aspect was the traction control speaking with the test riders of Ducati which some of of them I have uh, met uh, many years ago because we used to race together in rallies they told me Manuel try and keep the traction on level one and don't completely deactivate it well I tried both and it's difficult for me to say because usually I always hate the traction control on bike. On this one, I preferred traction on one than on completely off. The reason was the way the ECU works and understands that you're skidding, it lets you skid. So you want to drift with your bike, it helps you drift. Well, until a certain point where you know you're not risking to end up on the floor so i felt much safer riding with the traction control on one rather than on zero for the suspensions i tried to go full hard suspension for my weight this was the perfect setting and also when there were big bumps it never felt like it was you know really really bottoming out then from an aerodynamic point of view you're super well protected you have have this windshield that you can adjust by hand without the need of tools you can bring it up or down easily even when you're riding and all in all it feels a very solid bike extremely precise where 
it builds your confidence and between off-road and road i believe it's much more fun of a bike on road but you know it's nice when you have a bike like this where if you see that gravel road and you want to go explore since this should be the total globe trotter bike you can do it and feel safe and not have you know any particular difficulty considering also we rode today with a full load so with the luggage packs and the crash bars and everything the bike is available in two colors and an interesting aspect is that you have around the world 820 ducati service points and included in the price of the bike every time you go to get your bike serviced the firmware and any features will be updated for free so no need to spend extra money to get it updated furthermore the bike has four years of warranty at least here in europe quick video guys to show you the different setups we have here on the the multistrada v4 well from mode we can select which mode we want to go in if we want to go in sport touring urban or enduro on the right we see all the setup of the various control traction control abs uh, the um, wheelie control suspensions and preload and so on let's say we select enduro okay then with the if we go and press the suspension button it's very very intuitive because based on you know the load you have if you are riding alone or with the bag or with a passenger or if you have no clue what you're doing and you want it to auto level based on the weight it has you can do it then in the off-road version you have also pro rider and that's you know for the more expert riders once you've selected we can further adjust the different uh, setups so we go here in the settings and we can decide how to modify for example the enduro mode the power we can put maximum power lower power so now it's on the 114 horsepower version then we have the traction control we can completely put it off or go all the way up to uh, an eight level traction control ideal for wet grounds or for who is completely has no experience off-road you have the abs then this is the wheelie control enduro usually it's off and you can go here also to up to eight which means if you're you know really afraid of the power of this beast with 170 horsepower the bike won't raise the front end not even of one centimeter the ebc is uh, the engine brake force so when uh, we close the throttle on three you have a minimum and then on one you have the maximum then dqs is uh, the quick shifter if you want it on or off suspensions on the front and rear suspension we can go and adjust uh, if we want it harder or softer now okay the, it's in italian language but you can uh, you know if you put it harder it helps you because it shows you this arrow so the further the arrow goes right it goes to performance the further it goes to left it's uh, goes to comfort meaning the softer we go and we see the arrow going towards comfort then going back we have also the preload and you know settings are infinite but also then we have the cruise control really useful for highway furthermore the bike feels extremely extremely safe the power efficiency of the brakes is incredible with the 330 millimeter discs and the Brembo Stylema uh, uh, calipers. Even when we are very high speeds, uh, it manages to really brake hard. In a short time, almost like it was a MotoGP bike. The precision then it has entering turns on the road is just incredible it's just like a blade i felt that i could push every turn more and more and more and uh, you know i couldn't find its limit clearly the limit i would have found it if i crashed but luckily i didn't crash so the safety you feel especially thanks to all the technological features this bike has you know it has here the inertial platform on the front and on the rear the auto leveling adjustment for the suspensions if you need it's just you know really really cool bike she's like a beautiful woman she seduces you she's fascinating and the more time you spend with her the more you fall in love with her then the ducati red passion color and just you know the whole uh, the whole uh, brand identity 
it transmits you passion and uh, you feel it roaring inside and it gives you adrenaline, especially when you put it on sport mode on the road where you really feel the 170 horsepower. I personally love the design of this bike. I think it has, you know, this front super aggressive with the LED lights, but then all the lines of the bike, you know, just match together so well. It's sexy. It's like, I don't know, it's a bike of its own. I can't compare it to any other bike, but it's a bike that once you have it in the garage, I'm sure you're gonna perform a lot of kilometers, mainly on road, but you'll bust so many guys on the, especially on the mountain roads that have maybe sports bike, because it's super agile, super precise and a lot of fun. Well guys, that's all for today. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and to my Instagram and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.